Hey guys and um, welcome back. Uh, today's video is a little bit different. It's a bit more of a story time than usual and it's probably as close to spilling tea as we'll ever get on this channel. So over the weekend I had a massive house party. Me and my flatmates we turned the place into an enchanted forest. Here's some of the footage. So we hung lots of stuff off the ceiling. We turned it as close to an enchanted forest as we could get with the local florist and just hung lots of stuff up, cleared a lot of furniture out, obviously removed any carpets, all of the things that would get destroyed at a house party. Uh, also these parties in London, uh, especially these warehouse parties, they can get anywhere from like 70 people to like 200 people so we did not know how this was going to go down. So as I was hosting and as it was our house obviously I wanted to be a little bit extra so I got my face done by my housemate and here it is I went as a baby fawn. Now, <laughs> that will make sense later in the story why I had to show you that photograph. Okay, so everything was going great. Um, if you know me, you know I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs, okay? But I still have a good time. Like, I was still able to party on through till about 3.30 in the morning, I would say. That's probably it. Um, and then I was, I, was, I was up so early posting last week's YouTube video that I was just like, I have to <laughs> go to bed. 3.30 came, bedtime. Now, I thought I'd locked my bedroom door and I definitely had at different parts of the night because I am introverted so like there are times where I was saying like, I'm gonna go to my room and refill my drink. But it was literally an excuse to go into my room and deflate for five seconds and just gather my thoughts and then go back in to the social environment. Uh, I definitely need that and it's a thing, it's a thing. So I was actually quite lucky that it happened at my house so I could just go into my bedroom. So I thought I'd locked my bedroom door throughout the night. Turns out I hadn't. So when I walked to my room at 3.30, that feeling of like, oh, I can't wait to like get in, get my makeup off, you know, <laughs> put my sweatpants on, it's gonna be deadly. Um, I opened the door and there are two strangers in my room. Um, I should have clocked earlier, like I didn't have to unlock my door, but it, it just it didn't click with me. So I just I just look at this girl who's on my sofa, and it it was the girl all night. Like every party has one, and she was like the, the super drunk girl, like who whenever they turned up they could barely hold a glass, you know, like walking into things, walking into people, making people spill drinks, and like smoking in the house and it was just like oh how do we control this but you don't kick people out like because it's a house party it's not a nightclub do you know what I mean so anyway I walk in she's on my sofa she's not only in my room she's got a cigarette in her hand a lit cigarette that's about halfway down so I'm like you've been smoking in my room obviously there's no ashtray in this room she didn't have an ashtray so she was just casually just like flicking the ash on my floor Mm, I was so angry, obviously, because like this is my like little safe haven, it's my sacred space, and the fact that she's in there smoking, like my clothes are in here, like right beside where she was smoking, like, oh, I just was so angry. And I turn around and then there's this other guy like at my bookshelf and he's got, this is very London. He's got his oyster card out and he's obviously got drugs. I don't know what drugs specifically. I'm going to assume cocaine. Uh, and he's like lining it up on his oyster card. And I'm just like, are you actually kidding me? Like, you are kidding me. Um, so obviously, I switch on that part of my brain that's like, acting <laughs> and I'm like, right, we've got to be as Northern Irish as possible. So I like put my big like, Northern Irish accent on and I'm yelling I'm just like get out of my room now like to this girl get that cigarette out like proper yelling the fear of gods in her eyes like um bear in mind I also knew I had to be twice as angry as the average person because remember when I said this would be relevant it is not I had deer makeup on okay nobody can take someone with deer makeup on very seriously unless you are incredibly angry so I was trying to radiate as much hatred as I possibly could and uh, eventually she like goes uh, like oh can I stop it out I'm like no you need to get out or whatever obviously more angry than this because I'm not an angry person <laughs> so eventually she leaves and then I'm left with this guy who's still trying to do his drugs in my room okay like oh what part of like get out don't you understand so I'm 
full-blown rage at the minute like trying to get him out she comes back bless her little drunk socks and she <laughs> like pulls him away and he's like just let me put it in the bag I'm like no you just get out and she's like come on get out so she like literally takes his drugs and leaves my room dragging him by the arm and I'm like you know what fair play to her at least she got him out um so I obviously slammed the door behind me and I like try my best to like get rid of the smoke smell um still here by the way if you're wondering uh, and I sat on the sofa and I just uh, I just couldn't I couldn't even cry because it was it, I was just upset I was just very very upset because like I didn't realize like honest to god like I didn't realize how much my room like meant to me like on a personal space level and obviously like I had to check like that nobody had stolen anything not that I have a lot to steal but like there's little things like my laptops or like my xbox or just things that like nothing else is really worth stealing to be honest I don't have that much stuff so I was just in shock and upset and just so done like just as done as you can possibly be as an introvert as a par at a party you know what I mean um then I obviously had to go line up to use my loo because uh, there was just so many people um I came back and took all my face off and I I had to like maneuver lots of stuff to put in front of my door because I was like if people are going to come in they're going to come in and you can't lock the door from the inside for like house like for fire reasons you know the locks only on the other side so I couldn't lock the door when I was in here so I had to like try and like move everything in front of the door so that if people were trying to come in that they would get the picture like they're not supposed to come in you know um some people did not take that as clear enough warning by the way so I was about to put my like sleeping mask on and I was like hmm, we can't wear a sleeping mask because if the door opens, at least we'll see the light come in and we'll wake up because I had my sound cancelling headphones on because it was just so loud. It was so loud. So uh, during the night, like, people were trying to come into my room and obviously I just... I got like an hour of sleep the next day I just had to get up and get out of this house and I just... I didn't want to be social but, like, I went and was social and tried my best to hide the fact that I'd had so little sleep and I was just very tired and a bit of a zombie all day. Um, so it really took it out of me, right? Because people in my personal life, they always joke about the fact that they've never seen me angry, like they don't even think they've seen me raise my voice and that is very true, like I don't believe in getting angry, I don't see the point in it because I feel like anger is like a bodyguard emotion for what you're truly feeling on the inside um, so if I'm angry, angry, it's because I'm actually upset over something because like somebody let me down or like they didn't live up to my expectation or you know, somebody did something, that makes you angry which I feel is just from other emotions so I feel like it's a bodyguard um, to protect you from like getting sad because it's easier to get angry. Um, but I, I, I was just so tired from having to exert that when I'm not used to so fair play to anybody who gets angry like angry on the regular because that was whew, broke a sweat you know what I mean broke a sweat uh, anyway I don't I don't really know if there's a point to this video I suppose it's literally like if you're going to a house party and you are drinking and or doing drugs which I don't recommend but some people do it anyway like just just like have the party rule of don't be a douchebag you know what would you do if it was your house I don't feel like anybody watching this is that type of person anyway because you guys are all super duper nice so I don't know just had to get it off my chest because it really really affected me for like two days funny enough like Monday I just couldn't anyway I'm gonna go I hope you enjoyed my story time of the one time I got angry because I had a swell time <laughs> that's what I was saying to say this is why we don't go to parties Janet yeah this is why we stay indoors yeah if you stayed in your room, nobody would have came in. Yep. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're having a happy, happy day and that the world is treating you the way you deserve and that you haven't had a situation like that happen to you either. <laughs> Alright, bye!